It's a familiar place for firefighters who were back on the scene here on Polk Street just this morning responding to yet another fire. Neighbors now have been complaining about this property for months and just today I learned from city code enforcers that they've finally issued the building's owner a demolition notice. It's an abandoned apartment building that's been boarded up since a string of fires last November. People were forced out of their apartments when those fires broke out. But since then, neighbors here say the building hasn't been empty. There's, you know, young adults and older people who do go there. They drink, do drugs, weed, marijuana, and stuff like that. And um, it's pretty much at nighttime every night. Several neighbors say the property has been a nuisance for years. Loud parties, drug use, and prostitution. And while it's boarded up and missing much of the second story roof, neighbors say that hasn't stopped people from coming and going on a nightly basis to access units hidden on the back side of the property, like the one that caught fire early this morning. I feel unsafe. I really do it. These apartments are dangerous. They need to tear it down because like you don't know what happened. Several neighbors say they feel too unsafe to even go on camera to talk about the property, but are shocked that despite complaints, the city has allowed it to stand vacant for so long. Since it got caught on fire last night, they should tear it down. Whoever owned this, trying to get insurance or something like that, they still should tear it down because you don't know who might be in there. Now, the building's owner has 15 days to present a plan to either rehab or demolish the building themselves. If they don't respond within the next two weeks, the city will go to court and get an order to demolish the property. Live in Syracuse, Kelly Cowan, CBS 5 News.